Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh by Shem Rakah Kodash, for giving the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into faith, okay, which is my favorite lesson to talk about, man, okay? I always say it's the heartbeat, it's the centerpiece of your salvation, of this truth. Because without faith, you cannot make it. All right. Without faith, you cannot make it at all. All right. Now, let's read this again. Hebrews 4, verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Now, when you look back to the wilderness and you see what happened to our people, the Hebrew Israelites, going through the split sea. And they still had unbelief in them, even after the miracles, man. Okay, which is ridiculous. You go through a split sea, you see your enemy get drowned, okay? And you know how great Egypt was in that time. So to see that great nation go down the way they did after you survive, after splitting the waters, okay? You see that Yahweh Shemai was with you, and you still had unbelief, man. All right. On are you going to eat? Are you going to drink? You know, things of that nature. OK. And this is a perfect example when you go back to that unbelief. OK. Now, from there, let's go to Hebrews chapter three. Let's start at verse one. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and the high priest of our profession, Yahweh Shai, who was faithful to him that appointed him right who was faithful to him that appointed him who appointed Yahweh Shai Yahweh okay our father and it says he was faithful to him that appointed him as also Moses was faithful in all his house right man okay now why is it saying this because it's impossible to please Yahweh Shai without faith okay that's why it's written. They were faithful. It's letting you know that. Let's go to verse three. For this man was kind of worthy of more glory than Moses. inasmuch as much as he who had built it, the house have more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man. But he that built all things is how by Shemel Shai. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Yahweh Shai is a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Okay, talking about our faith firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness. Right. Okay, and that's what you got to watch for. Okay. Satan walking around trying to harden your hearts, your mind of that faith. Now, how does he do that? Through tribulations, through different things he put on you, man. Okay. Even though Yahweh Shemabashah put him up to it, gave him the green light, okay, to test you to see if your heart is going to be hard or not. Okay. So let's read that again. Verse 8. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me right, man. Okay. They proved him. How they do that? Let's see if he's going to feed us. Let's see if he's going to be able to have good water to drink. You know, and this is after the split sea, man. Okay. Which shows a spirit of unbelief. Because if you trust your how about you, was shy, you're not worried about that. Okay. Because you know he's going to take care of you. Especially if he did all that. To get you out of the grips of Pharaoh, okay, and his army, all right? Go to the split sea just to not feed you, just to not give you clean water to drink. Come on, man. That shows you that our people had unbelief in them, man. Even going through the split sea, there was in the spirit of unbelief. And we can't follow that, man. We cannot follow that. That's why I started off with Hebrews chapter 4 verse 11 let's go back to it real quick and we'll get back to uh, Hebrews 3 chapter Hebrews chapter 4 verse 11 
Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Right, man. Straight unbelief is what we read about during that time, okay? So let's read verse 9, back at uh, Hebrews 3, verse 9. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart and their mind, and they have not known my ways. Right. One of the ways that we ought to know, dealing with Yahweh Shemashai, is that he loves faith. Okay? Faith pleases him, man. Alright? We know we're not perfect in this flesh, right? So we need to focus heavy on our faith, which is the centerpiece of this truth. Okay? That's why it says the just shall live by faith. Right? That's how we're going to live. That's how we're going to survive. And that's how we're going to get saved, man. It has nothing to do with the flesh. Alright? Verse 11. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Right, man. So they didn't make it. Why? Because of unbelief. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Right, man. So that's evil. That's considered an evil thing. To walk around and not believe in Yahweh Shemashai. Okay. Now, to walk around and believe in Yahweh Shemashai and have that pure faith, that's considered righteous. That's why when you read about Abraham in Romans chapter 4, it talks about him receiving the promise through his righteousness of faith. Okay, it was counted unto him as righteousness to believe and trust on your how about your mouth shot. See, that's a big deal. That's what you got to focus on, man. Okay, that should be the centerpiece of your walk in this truth, man. That's how you're going to survive. That's how you're going to get saved. All right, let's read that again. Verse 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living power. Right. Okay, so in your spirit, okay, that's how you depart from your Habba Shema Shai. It's a lack of faith. No faith. Okay. And you depart that way. Why? Because you're not pleasing your Habba Shema Shai. And if you're not doing anything that's pleasing your Habba Shema Shai, then the spirit of wisdom is going to depart from you. Okay, that's that deportation. Okay. You'll get deported right back into the world <laughs> where he got you from, man. All right. Verse 13. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So we have to continue to exhort each other in the spirit of faith and belief and trust and remind each other what happens when you do not have this. Okay. You ain't going to make it, man. <laughs> That's why it mentions it, because when you look back at the wilderness, what happened? They went in circles and went in circles and went in circles, all because they did not believe. That's what it boils down to, man. We can't get around that. Let's read verse 14. For we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, for some, when they had heard, did provoke. Howbeit, not all that came out of Egypt by Moses, but with whom was he grieved for the years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not? Right. Okay. You believe not, you're not going to enter to the rest, man. That's what it boils down to, man. You're not going to get in that chariot with an unbelieving spirit. Now, think about the pressure that's going to be on us in Jacob's trouble, man. You're talking about a time that's never been before on the earth. So how much pressure is it going to be? It's going to be overwhelming pressure. And the only way to survive that pressure is your trust and your faith and belief in your Habashim Shai has to be built up. So when that time happens, it's built up so strong that you can survive that level of hit, man. Okay? You can survive it. Those who don't have belief are not working on their belief and faith as a centerpiece of their salvation will not survive it. They're going to cave in. All right? So keep that in mind. Verse 19. So we see that they cannot enter in because of unbelief. Right? 
because of unbelief, they cannot enter in. Okay. And that's the point of this lesson, man. Okay. That's why it says, bless he that read it. You got to read this and understand when you come across these scriptures talking about faith, you have to go back in the scriptures and read what happens to us as a people when we do not have faith. Okay. Yahweh Shai does not deal with us. Okay. Because it's impossible to please Yahweh Shai without faith. Do not forget that, man. Do not forget it. Okay, so with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakak Wadash for giving the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahakamata that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.